By the time we're done, you're not going to be able to tell that it's a square. It's just going to look like an expansion of the stream. And then you're going to have a, like a small little stream pooling area up here. We're going to have our large stack slate sphere sitting somewhere, I think, right around here. I know we were talking about kind of in this corner. And it's going to pull up. It's going to be maybe a few inches deep of water. And then it's going to fall over this waterfall into this pooling area shaped out by our medium stack slate sphere. And then our small stack slate sphere is going to sit over on this side, kind of framing out that other waterfall. And it's going to fall into the pool and then fall off into, our, uh, into the pond with a nice sheet style waterfall stay tuned it's finally done we are uh, we're back in Elmer's and uh, as you can see we got everything up and running see we have the pond is filled to where we need it to be for right now we still have some foaming to do on those far waterfalls and as soon as we finish up all that foaming we'll fill the rest of the pond today the fish are in they're all happy as can be with their expanded pond than from what they were used to before when we pulled them out and we have our 12 aqua block wetland that we're going to be installing today so we're laying out the wetland and so fortunately enough we're able to pull off this overlap or not overlap excuse me so it's all one piece yeah it's all one piece of line that's all i was trying to no say no seeming yeah no seeming it's that's the key we tried to avoid it and we did with uh how we configured the liner so we have our three aqua blocks going this way and our four aqua blocks going that way and then we're going to have our centipede laying in the middle and then we're going to have our snorkel on that far end and this is where our three inch pipe is going to come in and discharge into the wetland by the time we're done, you're not gonna be able to tell that it's a square. It's just gonna look like an expansion of the stream. And then you're gonna have a, like a small little stream pooling area up here. We're gonna have our large stack slate sphere sitting somewhere, I think right around here. I know we were talking about kind of in this corner and it's gonna pull up. It's gonna be maybe a few inches deep of water and then it's gonna fall over this waterfall into this pooling area shaped out by our medium stack slate sphere. And then our small stack slate sphere is gonna sit over on this side, kind of framing out that other waterfall. And it's gonna fall into the pool and then fall off into, our, uh, into the pond with a nice sheets out waterfall stay tuned right on so Luis is off today, but we've got a new teammate for the yeah. day. It's our buddy Cameron. So He's in for uh, the academy. What'd you think of it? It was a good time. Always learning and uh, always good to be around the Aquascape team. So, Do you think uh, it's well worth everybody signing up for the seven upcoming academies? I think if you have any questions, and I think even if you think that you don't have any questions or you know, you know everything that you need to know, there were guys there that have been doing this for several years and they were like, oh my gosh, like this is stuff that I can use and I can you know, change my business or I'm running things. So I think everybody can learn something awesome. from it. Well, welcome aboard for the day. We're excited to get this day rolling, right, Jack? Yeah, at least it's a little bit warmer today than it yeah, was Yeah, it's like, well, it's gonna be 50 today instead of 40. I know, we're gonna be in t-shirts today. I know, we're gonna be swimming in the pond by the end of the day. Stay tuned. Hey guys, we're back. It's finally done. We are, we're back at Elmer's and uh, as you can see, we got everything up and running. So it's been a couple days. The water's nice and clear. Everything is running right now. We got three spheres up on top. We have the large, medium, and small sphere sitting on top of the wetland filter. So on this project, we have a four to seven feeding that bio falls over in that corner. And then we have also a five to nine feeding the trio spheres and then the bog. So up on top between the small sphere and the large sphere, we have our manifold system, which you guys saw in the previous video. And then we have that all teed off and manifold down where we need all that water to go. And then we also have a two to four that strictly feeds our two jets that sit in this corner right here, which you can see the agitation in the water. And then as well in that corner over there. And then pretty much the reason for this is to keep a hole open in the wintertime for the ice and to keep all the leaf debris pushing towards the skimmer and to the homeowner, put a little screen in front of the skimmer. This will prevent most of those leaves from getting into the skimmer as much as possible with considering what they have that birch, which it just literally, as soon as we were finishing this pond, they were dropping 
like crazy. Thank you guys for sticking with us through this series of this spawn. It was really nice to be part of this build because we don't get to really work with Aqua Blues a whole lot. This is the first time that it was really built upon this season with Aqua Blues and it turned out awesome. Like the guys did a great job and it turned out great. And as always guys, if you guys aren't subscribed, please like, comment, and subscribe on the YouTube channel. And don't forget to uh, subscribe to our Instagram channel too. We're, we're posting daily videos and uh, tips on projects like this. You don't have to wait a couple days or a week to see a final reveal of the pot. Thank you.